begin with the first scale that all piano students should learn, the C major scale, which is all of the white keys of the piano. But first, we're going to label our fingers so that we know which fingers to use for which notes. The thumb for both hands will be one, and the next finger will be two, then three, then four, and then five. And we only have five fingers, so that's where we can stop. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to find, with our first finger, the middle C, which is the C that is in the very center of the piano. And if you're not sure where C is, we want to find the two black keys that are together and the white key that is right below them will be your C. We're going to start with the right hand. Now, we have more than five notes in the scale, so at some point we'll have to start recycling them. For this scale, that happens almost right away. We're going to play the first three fingers. Can we play these together? One, two, three. And then we're going to bring the thumb underneath the hand to find the next note. And then we're going to play every finger after that, all the way to the fourth finger. And then the thumb will find the next C. And we'll keep going up. One, two, three. And then the thumb again. And then when we get to the next C, this time we're going to put our pinky down. And then we're going to go backwards. Four, three, two, one, and then three. Three, two, one, and then four again. Four, three, two, one, and then three, two, one. So, if you examine this carefully, you can see that we're using three fingers, and then we're recycling, and then we're using four fingers, and then we're using three fingers again, and then four fingers, and then we're stopping with the pinky. So there will always be a three, and then four, and then three, and then four, and then we have to stop sometime. We could keep going forever, but we don't have to this time. Let's try that again, one more time, slowly. Ready, set, go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Pinky, five. Now four, three, two, one. Now the third finger, three, two, one. Then the fourth finger, four, three, two, one. And then the third finger again, three, two, one. <clears throat> All right, go ahead and pause the video to go work that out a couple of times. Remember to alternate groups of three and groups of four. It does help to count the fingers as you go. All right, welcome back if you paused and if you didn't, let's continue on. We're gonna do that one one more time, but we're gonna try and make it as smooth as possible, which is to say we don't want to stop when we're crossing under or crossing over the hand with the next finger. Ready, set, go. We are ready to move on to the left hand, which is going to use the same fingers in the same order, starting on the same C. The only difference is we're going to go down first instead of up. Let's try that together. Ready? The first three fingers. One, 
two, three, and then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, then one, two, three again. One, two, three, then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now let's stop it with the pinky. And backwards. Four, three, two, one, then three again. Three, two, one. Four, three, two, one, and then three, two, one. All right, how'd you do? Usually after doing this with one hand, the second hand is a little bit easier the first time, but that's not always the case, especially if you are super right-handed or super left-handed. Um, it can be a little difficult. So let's try that again one more time. Ready, set, go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, then one again. One, two, three, now cross under. One, two, three, four, five. Four, three, two, one, now three. three to pause the video to work that out a couple times before we move on to the next and last step for this the first scale C major welcome back if you paused if you didn't let's go on we're going to do that with both hands at the same time uh, in this case we're going to start on the same C and the hands are going to move apart this is called contrary motion and then we're going to move back together and we're going to play the same fingers in each hand at the same time, so we can use the same numbers. Let's try that together nice and slowly. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, then one again. One, two, three, four. Now bring the thumb under. One, two, three, and then one again. One, Stop it with a pinky. Five. Now backwards. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Now four. Four, three, two, one. Now three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay? Again, I'm going to ask you to pause the video to go try and work that out and then come back to see if you can play it smoothly along with me. Did you come back? All right, here we go. Nice and smoothly. Ready, set, go. you more than 10 minutes to learn this scale that's fine um, it might take a whole week and that's also pretty typical the piano is a complicated instrument that requires two hands to do two different things at the same time uh, go work on this scale for a whole week and then come back here for the next one uh, if you have any questions about this or other music related topics please leave them in the comment section and I will be happy to respond to them uh, if you enjoyed this, or if you got something out of this, or if your teacher sent you here because he might be me, or your teacher who happened to stumble across this and liked it, uh, if not, uh, subscribe. If you did like it, if you didn't like it, something else. I don't know. Have a nice day.